welcome back to my channel it's time for another empties the same as with my last empties video that I uploaded I'm going to go through each product and give you kind of like a speed review on them so you've got my thoughts on whether I would repurchase them whether I liked them whether I disliked them so let's get into it first we need coffee okay so I've got quite a lot in my empties bin for this month as well I am a huge fan of just using up products until they are completely gone so there is something in here that I'm having to declutter which I'll go through at the end uh, which I'm not too happy about but I just can't use it so the first thing that I can see in my little bucket of empties is this imperial leather drop it like a sloth Drop It Like a Sloth Tropical Rainforest and Water Mint Shower Gel. Um, I received this as a Christmas present um, just at Christmas. My mum always gets us kind of little toiletry bits as well for our stockings. Um, and this was one of the things I had in there. It was nice. It smelt nice enough. She got it because I'm obsessed with sloths. Um, but yeah, uh, there's nothing to write home about. It was enjoyable. It was a shower gel. It worked. The next thing I've got is the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. Uh, this is, I believe, a deluxe sample. Uh, there is 50ml in this, and I think that I got it, if I remember correctly, I got it in a Feel Unique beauty box. I love this cleanser. I, I think this is probably my second or third sample that I've requested in my Feel Unique uh, sample service box because it's just such a lovely cleanser. It's good for an evening cleanse as your second cleanse after like removing your makeup with a first cleanse. Um, it removes like any residue that might be left. It's gentle enough to use it in the morning. It does not strip my skin or leave me feeling tight or dry and I would definitely repurchase this. Another shower gel, I've got the Femme Fresh Intimate Skincare Daily Wash. I always repurchase this. This is almost always in my empties. It's just a really gentle, uh, intimate wash and I enjoy using it so yes I would repurchase this here is the acid trip exfoliating toner it's an AHA and PHA toner by Beauty Bay um, I have recently finished this up um, I was using a I was using an exfoliating toner by Nip and Fab, which I really enjoyed, and then they had a deal, because I believe they've reformulated this now, so they had a deal on the old formulation, so I actually, I actually bought two of them, so I've used up this one and I've still got another one left. It's a nice enough toner, um, I don't see a massive difference in my skin from using it. Because it's an exfoliating toner, obviously I don't use it every day, maybe if I used it every day I would see more of a difference, but I've got other exfoliating uh, products that I would use over this um, but yeah it was nice enough it did kind of make my skin red at times mainly down my neck when I would use it obviously I have acne on my neck so I would run it down my neck and then I would get like a line where <laughs> I stopped like where the product had been uh, so I know that it did make my skin quite red um, but obviously it's an exfoliating toner it never made my skin like irritated in a sense of like it itching it was just visually irritated not physically i don't know but um yeah i don't mind this toner it's not the best it's not the worst i do like the cap um it kind of twists to open and then you can pour it out um but yeah i've got another one of these and i might repurchase the newer formulation in the future um but for now i've got enough toners that I can get through. This is a exfoliating sugar body scrub by The Body Shop. I think it's, oh it's in Shea. Um, this was okay. I just, I had this from like a Christmas, um, like a Christmas set that was gifted to me maybe even like a, two to three years ago and I just wanted to use it up so I used it up on my legs. I would not repurchase this. So it says it smooths and refines the skin. So I didn't find it too exfoliating. It was quite gritty, but it did moist it felt like moisturizing. Like my skin was left moisturized after rinsing it off. But after using it I did find that the shower was really slippery afterwards. So if you do have this or um, one of their similar body scrubs, I'd just be really careful not to slip over <laughs> after using it. Here I've got a Dermatica personalised formulation. Um, so 
I don't know if you guys know about Dermatica, you probably do. It's an online prescription service for skincare. They can help you with things like wrinkles, pigmentation, acne, things like that. I have been signed up to it for a little while, um, but I did cancel it because I didn't find myself getting through a whole like one tube a month which is what you're supposed to do and then I ended up having like four tubes that had been sent to me and I needed to use them so I've cancelled it now I believe I've got one maybe two tubes left of this I like to use this alternating between this and like my retinol products and other products that I have um, obviously I'm a skincare fanatic so I'm not just gonna like I just can't do it to myself like I can't just stick to using one product at night it's nice that it's personalized that's that's the thing um and then uh, you get to talk to like a dermatologist online and things like that so that's nice and yeah maybe in the future I might sign back up to it so there's a lot of these minis I did make it a mission this month to try and use up quite a lot of my samples that I have because one I need to use them up two I want to try out these products so I need to just use them to try them and three I've got so many I just thought that it would be just good to use them up I don't want them to go bad I don't want I don't want to I don't want to waste them so um so yeah I've grabbed out a bunch of these I'm just going to go through them one by one and let you know my thoughts first I've got this little Clinique Moisture Surge 96 hour hydro hydrophilic concentrate so this is a little eye cream um it all it had like little you might be able to see them it had like little beads like green and pink beads in it that would burst when you massaged it into your skin um it was a nice eye cream it was hydrating it wasn't like anything special i don't believe in the claims that it's 96 hour um hydration for your under eyes because um i've got a lot I've got a lot of other eye creams or I've tried a lot of other eye creams that are more hydrating than this one so I would not repurchase this. Um, similarly to that Clinique product I've got this Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate so this was a, a like a gel moisturiser for your entire face. It was the same situation as the eye cream so it had kind of little green and pink bursting bubbles in there. I didn't particularly love this gel um, moisturiser. It was really hard to get the last bits out. Um, but then again, this is only a deluxe sample, so it's not like, I don't know what the full size packaging is like. Um, but after trying this, considering I usually love gel moisturisers because I'm oily, I thought that I was gonna love this, but it wasn't anything special, so I would not repurchase this one. Next, I've got the Cooler SPF 30 the sun silk drops sunscreen um, so this was in one of my subscription box I believe it was the feel unique beauty box um, I really wanted to love this but I did not enjoy it one the dropper broke so even though I was like really excited about the cute little packaging this did not work so it did not suck up any of the product for me to then drop it on my face or on my hands to put on my face so I had to kind of like pour it out which was a bit annoying Secondly, I don't know if you can see on my hand there, you probably can't see, um, but it's so greasy and as an oily person I do not want a greasy sunscreen um, but it just made my face look like an oil slick, feel like an oil slick and I did not enjoy it so I will not be repurchasing this SPF. Next up I've got a hair product, this is the Philip Kingsley Bond Builder, it's a split end remedy so this little product by philip kingsley is something that you would apply to towel dried hair uh, before blow drying and it is supposed to um kind of like help split ends not get any worse basically i did really enjoy this as this is just a sample i'm not sure if i would repurchase the full size just because um i don't know how much it costs it was really enjoyable to give this a go and my hair seemed to like it so you yeah i did enjoy this but i'm not sure whether i would repurchase it this is the juice beauty instant flash facial um i know that juice beauty is quite an expensive brand so i picked this in a beauty box subscription to try out the feel unique beauty box um and i did quite enjoy this um it was a it was a bit different so this is 7.8 uh, yeah 7.8 mil 
and I got about three uses. So what you do is after my first cleanse, I would then put, uh, you have to shake it up because it kind of separates. And then I would put some in my hand, um, massage it all over my face. It is slightly physically exfoliating. So there was that kind of exfoliation going on. And then I would leave it on my face for, I think it says three minutes. Yeah, two to three minutes. I left it on for three minutes. Um, and then I rinsed it off afterwards. It made my skin feel really smooth and I really enjoyed this, but I would not repurchase just because of the price of the full size. Another larger deluxe sample here. This is the Rodial Pink Diamond Cleansing Balm and it looks like that. I did not like this. I used it up because I had it, um, but I did not like this. Firstly, the scent is so strong. I did not like this scent at all. It's like really strong rose scented um, and I did not enjoy that. Secondly, it irritated my eyes so much, probably because it was so heavily fragranced. Um, and also it didn't even remove my makeup very well. So the, only, the way I used this up eventually is I used it on days where I wasn't wearing any makeup just to remove my sunscreen before going in with my second cleanse. So it worked for sunscreen. It was it was okay on foundation and concealer. It was rubbish at removing like eyebrow products and mascara. So I would not repurchase this. Next here I have the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilience Soothing Treatment Lotion. It's a tiny little baby. Um, so this was quite nice. I did find it very soothing on my skin. Um, obviously, even though it's a deluxe sample, there it's still tiny. So I, I didn't see like a massive difference in my skin, but immediately after putting it on, my skin did feel soothed and looked less red um, and more calmed. So perhaps I would repurchase this in a full size in the future. I did quite enjoy this. The last of my samples that I've got here are perfume samples. Uh, this one is Commodity Paper and it says Scent Space Personal. I don't know what this means. I've got it on my nose. Uh, I don't know what this means, but I did get this in a beauty box, I believe. Maybe a glossy box or a look fantastic box. I really enjoyed this. It's a nice larger uh, sample size. It smells a bit musky. It's hard to describe that scent, but I did quite enjoy it. Um, it was nice to try out. Um, not one that I would go and buy myself though, but it was nice to try. The next scent I have is the Valentino Born in Roma Yellow Dream. I really enjoyed this perfume. It's very kind of, it's kind of like a warm, cozy scent. Yeah, I, I think to me, this is a really warm and cozy scent. Um, and yeah, I really enjoyed trying this one out. I would probably purchase this perfume in the future, maybe as like an evening perfume, or even just one to put on before you go to bed. <laughs> That's really nice. Uh, then this last one, I just, this really annoyed me. The sprayer broke and I couldn't get the last, the last little bit out. So it still has some in there, which really did annoy me, but whatever. So this is, uh, by Judith Leber um, and it's the More Zest perfume. So this came in a little set of like three or four of these in, I think it was like a glossy box. Um, yeah, I think it might have been in a glossy box and there was like three or four of these in a little box. Um, so this is number two, More Zest. I really enjoyed this. That's why it annoyed me that I couldn't get the last bit out because um, there's probably like another one or two sprays of that in there. Um, but yeah, I quite like this. I quite like zesty scents, especially for the summer months. So I potentially would buy this one as well. Here we've got a couple of hair products. Um, so I've got another one of these uh, VO5 Nourishing Coconut Hot Oils. Um, I had one of these in my last empties. Um, so my thoughts on it, my thoughts on this are in that video as well. Um, it's not amazing. There wasn't a drastic difference to my hair, but I've got them, so I'm going to use them up. So I used that one up. The last hair item I've got in here is the We Are Paradox Repair Game Changer Hair Mask. It came in this little metal tin. Um, this 
this was really nice. I did wash it out, but you can still smell it. It's really like um, like a. It smells like a spa. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like a spa, like quite herbally and relaxing. Um, it was kind of like a really thick conditioning hair mask and I really enjoyed this my my hair felt really silky smooth afterwards um so yeah I would repurchase this but I have looked it up and Paradox We Are Paradox is quite an expensive brand so um I might purchase it I just like the smell I might purchase it um in the future when I've used up the hair masks that I've already got so just to get these two out of the way because they're just kind of lurking around at the side of the bucket this is the yes to tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal sleep mask so this is just obviously the packaging um inside this once you open it there's like a little see-through square packaging kind of looks like this little pillow and the mask itself is like a grey colour because obviously it's got charcoal in it. I tried this years ago now um, because I bought it from a supermarket and I really enjoyed it so much that I ended up buying a pack of five of these masks from Amazon. So this is the last of those masks. I found that in each little sachet that they give you inside this packet, I could, I could usually get about two or three nights wear out of that mask. There's so much in it. If you put that entire pa like packet on your face, there would just there would just be too much. So I obviously enjoy this mask because I have now used about six of them. This is the last one, like I say. Um, so I actually probably would purchase this again. So the reason that I liked this is because it's got salicylic acid in it. And I've just read the packaging and it says, yes to do yes to detoxifying charcoal and salicylic acid to help skin look clear so you can honestly say hashtag i woke up like this <laughs> so there's not a massive drastic difference when you first wake up in the morning um but i did think that because of the salicylic acid in this it did help um active acne kind of heal a little bit faster so i probably would repurchase this in the future and then this little sample is the Ofra Royalty Vitamin C Cream. So this is a vitamin C moisturiser. Um, it was nice. It was moisturising. Uh, obviously, it was only a tiny little sample. So I couldn't see a massive difference from using it. Um, but it was nice to try out. I probably wouldn't repurchase this in a full size. But yeah, it was nice to try. And then I can see three makeup items. I know. I finished up some makeup so uh, first I've got this 3CE Style Nanda face blush in the shade nude peach I don't know why I was about to open it to show you <laughs> so yeah that's all gone uh, so in my Style Vana haul I think that's my first video I did repurchase another one of these in a different shade but I would definitely repurchase this in nude peach again I love this this is my favorite blush I think probably ever and that's saying something but yeah I would repurchase this I recently finally finished up my elf putty primer all gone I really enjoyed this primer I won't repurchase it right now because I've got too many primers I also have this elf putty primer with the salicylic acid in it the green one so I'm going to move on to that one next but maybe in the future when I've got when I've whittled my primer collection down, I would probably repurchase this and I would recommend it to people. And then I've got this, it's really battered. <laughs> this is so battered. Right, the reason that this looks like rubbish and the reason that it's finished is because my daughter loves lip balms and I ended up giving her this one uh, and she's, smashed it up she's used it until it can no longer be used this is the body collections color care lipstick and the reason that i bought this is because it is 100 percent a dupe for the nars afterglow lip balms and this one in particular i absolutely think it's a dupe for the orgasm shade Obviously, because I gave it to my daughter, I probably got to use this maybe about a dozen times and I did really like it. It's not as moisturising as the 
NARS Afterglow lip balms, but it does give the same effect, the same colour, um, and yeah, or even kind of looks the same. And I don't even know if they do these anymore, which is such a shame, but I would repurchase this um, in the future and not give it to my daughter to play with. Next up, I've got the Mitchum Triple Odor Defence 28 Hour Protection Powder Fresh Roll On Anti Perspirant. This is my go to anti perspirant. Um, not particularly in this scent, the Powder Fresh. I like the one with the black and white on the front because it doesn't leave marks or it leaves less marks on black clothing. This one was really nice, it did the job. This type of roll on deodorant by Mitchum is my go to at the moment. Next up, I've got the Elemis Superfood Sika Calm Hydration Juice. I love this moisturiser. I first received it in a subscription box in a tube and I love the way it made my face feel so much that I purchased the full size when there was a deal on Amazon for it. Um, so yeah, I really enjoy this. It makes my skin feel hydrated, smoothed out, and it's just a lovely gel moisturiser. So I would repurchase this. This is lovely. Another Elemis product I have, this is a 50ml size of the Hydrating Ginseng Toner. I purchased this again from Amazon when there was a deal on it and I purchased it because one of my friends Sharon on Instagram she recommended this and I'm so glad that I tried it because of her. With some toners especially in the past when I would use them they would make my skin feel dry or you could tell there was like loads of alcohol in them and it just wasn't very pleasant. As a toner this is so hydrating so once I'd washed my face if it started to feel a bit dry or tight if I just put some on a cotton pad and swipe this over my skin felt like I'd put moisturiser on. Um, so I would definitely repurchase this toner in the future. Next up, I've got a mask by The Inky List. This is the Kaolin Clay Mask. Um, this clay mask is okay. It's very simple. You don't need very much. It's like You can put quite a thin layer on your face um, to get the effects from it. Um, but yeah, I probably wouldn't repurchase this. I have tried a lot and I've got a lot of clay masks that I find are a bit more effective than this one. It is good. There's nothing bad to say about it. I just don't think I would repurchase this one in the future. Lastly, I've got two vitamin C products. So this is the Alpha Arbutin 2% and HA, so with hyaluronic acid by The Ordinary. Um, this vitamin C... I didn't see much of a difference. I believe it is because it is not a very high concentration of vitamin C. It was nice to have the hyaluronic acid in with this um, to kind of like double up in your skincare routine so you didn't have to have like two different products. And um, so I quite enjoyed that, but I didn't see a massive difference from using this. So I will not be repurchasing this vitamin C product. One that I would repurchase is this one by Indeed Laboratories. This is the vitamin c24 um, it is a vitamin paste um, so you do have to be careful when you are layering it with other products so if you've got stuff on your if you've got product on your face already before this you need to let that sink in completely before then applying this and similarly you have to let this sink in before applying anything on top of it um, but it is very effective. It says it's a stable vitamin C formulation with 22% lascorbic acid and 2% hyaluronic acid filling spheres. So this is a whopping 22% lascorbic acid, which is why it was so effective for me. And that is why I will repurchase this um, at a later date when I finish the other vitamin C products that I have in rotation at the moment. So the last thing in my empties bucket which is the annoying thing, <laughs> is these Pretty Smooth Wrinkle Care Gel Eye Patches. There are two left in this box. They're just uh, kind of like gel eye patches that you put on under your eyes, um, kind of like a little masking moment. The reason I'm decluttering these is the last time I used them, they stung the hell out of my eyes. My eyes were streaming. They were so irritated that I cannot use these. 
Um, so for that reason, I'm either going to pass them on or they're going in the bin because I don't think that anyone else should be using them either. My eyes aren't particularly sensitive to very much, but they hated these eye patches. So I will not be repurchasing these and they will no longer be in my collection. For some reason, I didn't think that I had actually done very well for empties this month. But looking at this and going through it all, there's so much in here. <laughs> and it always feels like a bit of like an accomplishment kind of thing, like to use things up. And yeah, I'm just really happy with using all of this up. So that is everything for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Um, it really helps me out. If you have any questions, if you wanna tell me if you saw any products that you love, any products that you hate, I would love to know. I would also love to know how well you did with your empties this month, if you keep track. Um, but yeah, that's everything, guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.